down to the wire, but uh, trying to get the truck ready for the last show that I put on every year. Me and a buddy of mine put on a show from May to September. Uh, we do the third Saturday of every month. Uh, the truck's been apart all year, so I haven't had it anywhere. Um, I decided last week that I was going to try to bust ass and get the truck over there since it hasn't been out all year, but um, hood hinges still aren't hooked up. I, the front end is just, uh, it's bubble gum and zip ties holding it together, but it looks like a truck again. Um, the truck's aired up, which means the compressors are mounted and wired and plumbed and all that stuff, which is what I've been working on this week. Uh, I still have to actually bolt the compressors down. Uh, the little... Uh, brass bushing thing and little brass thing inside the rubber bushings um they were pretty screwed up so i ordered a whole new set of those to do both compressors so hopefully that gets here tomorrow i'm hoping um i moved this stinger relay solenoid thing back here um uh, like i said rewired pretty much everything on the compressors uh plumbed them in to where they're on either side of the tank here, not fighting against each other anymore. Um, yeah, everything seems to work like it should. I don't have a pressure switch right now, but uh, that's something I'll try to do this winter probably. I'm not real worried about it. I was worried about getting the truck to air up off the ground and be able to go get the alignment done and stuff. And... Uh, Hopefully that fixes the issues at the front, not one to lay out, whatever's going on there. Um, yeah, the compressors are done. Truck's aired up off the ground under its own power. Not on shop air anymore. It's a big step. Uh, I'm hoping when I get home from work tomorrow, I can clean out all the stuff off of the toolbox and inside the bed here. Uh, I'd like to set the bed back down on it for the alignment so it has proper weight at least. Um, we'll see how that works out. Worst case scenario, I'll just bring it how it is because I'm definitely going to need a hand getting this bed back on. But worst case scenario, I will throw it on the trailer and run it over there. Then get the alignment done. Uh, I would drive it over there, but the alignment is terrible right now. That's that side, that's this side. That's not even close. Uh, don't really wanna chew these tires up any more than what I have to because I just threw these front tires on here from wearing out the front tires that were on it. So yeah, um, I guess I'll do an updated video after this to show if we make it, if the truck's back in one piece, uh, whatever, but we're definitely getting somewhere now finally a lot of procrastination a lot of waiting on parts a lot of just life but um speaking of life i'll do an updated video maybe this weekend or next weekend of where the cadillac went and why it is gone now so yeah but blue silverado is under its own power again